Teams meet at half court. The Ava Bears for your fashion report. They are white on white. Norwood, their road blue on blue. Mason Cole will be going it up, tipping it up, and controlled by the Bears. And Dalton pass ahead to Blaine Mendel. Blaine penetrates into the defense, drives, shoots just short, offensive rebound, and then we have a jump ball called. And Ava controlled the tip, so the jump ball will go to Norwood, and that was DeVault tying up an offensive rebound from Peyton Evans and Norwood with possession now. Now I said DeVault and Dalton, two kids who have already scored a thousand points in their career, but DeVault a much more high volume shooter. He will shoot 20 plus attempts tonight, I will bet you, in the ball game. They get it to him off a screen here. Trap comes, passes quickly around it. Here's the point guard Drake for the Pirates. Swings it to the left side now in the corner for Sinning. Sinning being guarded by Dalton. Ava looking in man-to-man -man defense here early. DeVault passes to Drake to Sinning. Puts it on the floor. Right wing. Now left wing. Quick ball movement here. This is McGowan with it now of Norwood being very patient and selective on their first possession. Pass back up top to McGowan. Looks right. Dribbles left. Now a little crossover. Mendel guarding him. Now back over to Drake. Almost looking like Norwood here. Kind of anticipating a low scoring game by the way this first possession is going and a little touch foul there called on Peyton Evans and that will be the first foul of the ball game and the first foul charged to Evans. Just getting underway in this one here in the first quarter. Ava JV a winner earlier and this game just becoming official right around noon yesterday. Both teams had just because of the COVID fate, an open date on the schedule. Top of the circle, Drake now goes left wing to McGowan. Mendel guarding him, and once again they will space, space the floor. Being very, very patient here on this opening possession, and Sinning now called for a carry. That will be a turnover. Hey, real quick, Paige, if you want to show the score. And it'll send it over. Back to the Ava Bear ball way. Ava going right to left here on your radio dial. 624 left in this first quarter. No score here between Ava and Norwood. This is Mason Cole coming back out for basketball. Took his junior year off. Dalton, left wing, rise and fire for three off the front iron. No good. Shot looked good, just didn't fall. Now here comes Norwood racing back the other way. DeVault step back three, and he buried it. Garrett DeVault, that will be the first of many baskets that he shoots, and he will make a lot of them as well. Mendel drives in, contact, no call. Loose ball picked up by Norwood. Pirates coming the other way with it. It's who else? DeVault shoots it in the lane, a runner, no good. Rebounded by Ethan Donnelly of the Ava Bears. Up to Mendel, back to Donnelly. Spot up three, no good. Off to the right on the back iron. Evans chases for it in the corner, but out of bounds. And it'll be Norwood ball. Norwood leading 3-0 here. In this opening quarter, just a couple of minutes played so far. Here from Ava, Missouri. Little experiment night here on Cos Radio. And of course, want to thank Tyson there. TDH Media helping us out. With the coverage, you can go online right now. Six bucks all it costs. You can watch all the action. Three-pointer, Drake, and he buried it. So from the outside arc, Norwood, hot from the field so far. They're two for two from the three-pointers, and they lead six to nothing here. Dalton drives in. Pass to Donnelly, back to Dalton. A little bit shaggier hair here by Andrew in the early season going. Now to Peyton Evans coming off a great football season. And speaking of great football seasons, Mason Cole, who gets a touch now. First team All-SCA defense. Blaine Mendel drives in. There is contact and an offensive foul called. And that is unfortunate. Now, I will say I like seeing the aggressiveness out of Blaine Mendel early. If you heard the coaches show, their last Friday with Coach Damon Seeger, and I pretty much posed the question to him. How important is it for Blaine Mendel this year to become kind of that Robin with Andrew Dalton's Batman? Need those two guys to pretty much lead you in scoring. 
each and every night. Duvall, three-pointer, no good. A little bit of acting job to try to sell a foul. No call. Ava coming the other way, down 6 nothing. Evans to Dalton, top of the circle. Little jab step, steps back, three, no good, off the front rim. Rebound DeVault. DeVault pushes it up the floor himself, up the right side. Pass back left, they swing it around. It's Drake again for three, and Swish City for Jalen Drake. Don't look now, but here in the first quarter, Norwood has scored the first nine points. It's Norwood nine, Ava zero. Hey Bears fans, this is Travis Smith, and I want to say how proud I am to be supporting the Ava Bears football team. From the trip last year to the championship game, and this summer's long, hot summer practices, I'm looking forward to seeing what this season will bring. Hard work pays off. I can attest to that from coaching football for over 10 years. And I want to say good luck to the Ava Bears football program from Travis Smith. Thank you. Well, that was not the start you're looking for if you're an Ava Bear basketball fan. If you're Norwood right now, very pumped up. We're at the 353 mark here the first quarter. You've kept Ava off the scoreboard. And Norwood, three three-pointers. It's the perimeter game right now. Doing such a good job for the Pirates here in the early going. See what adjustments Coach Seeger making there during the timeout. And a familiar face sitting on the bench with him right now temporarily. Uh, Dalton fires a three. No good off the back iron. Andrew 0 for three right now from the outside, but Aaron Dalton, Ava and C of O legend, got some love here locally, uh, here recently for his career in basketball around the area. And he's gonna be helping out while Coach Armstrong dealing with a family situation. Our thoughts and prayers with the Armstrong family. Dalton turnaround jumper, no good. So Andrew searching for his stroke. Here in the first quarter, rebound Norwood, and they will slow it down once again. Crossing the timeline is Chadwell. Over to the right side, Drake. Drake, couple dribbles up to Sinning. McGowan, left side of the arc. Top of the circle, Chadwell. Right wing now, Sinning. Back up top, Drake. Fakes a three, puts it on the floor. Again, Norwood. A lot of spacing. Here's a drive in by DeVault. Doesn't get the roll. Sticks with it. Gets blocked by Dalton. And an outlet up to Blaine Mendel. Ava pushing the pace a little bit. Into the corner. Donley goes inside. Knocks down a mid-range jumper. And Ethan Donley scoring the first basket of the 2020-2021 Ava basketball season. If you had that in your office pool, good job. And we like seeing that, Ethan Donley. A junior coming up, knocking down a big shot here in the first quarter to get Ava on the scoreboard finally. DeVault, boy, he sells getting fouled on just about every attempt. Shot no good, knocked down. Here comes Ava. Dalton drives baseline up and under, still no good. Andrew Dalton, 0 for 5 from the field. Can't get one to fall here early. All the shots look on target, just not dropping. And DeVault, a runner in the lane, knocks it down. And Garrett DeVault averages about 22 points a game there his sophomore year. Makes it. Mason Cole misses all. Dalton on the putback, no good. Offensive rebound to Mendel. Mendel drives inside. Nice jump stop move, and it won't fall, but he is fouled. And Blaine Mendel will go to the free throw line here for a couple. But it is a 11-2 advantage for Norwood here in the final couple of minutes here of this opening quarter. 125 on the clock. And Mendel, first free throw, no good. So offense, maybe some of those first game of the year jitters, but... Uh, you know, and doing the scouting here and talking to a lot of people around the area this summer and fall, a lot of people with some high hopes for Norwood in the summit. They're kind of the dark horse pick this year, believe it or not. And 0 for 2 on the free throws. Dalton 
gets the rebound and he's fouled on the putback and now Andrew Dalton will go shoot a pair of free throws here. Ava still trailing 11 to two. And this is not the start if you're an Ava Bear fan. Dalton, first of two, and it goes. And a guy who just continues to impress us each and every time he comes out on the court. Last game of the year, Cooper was calling it there in the boot hill. I think he scored 28, already 1,000 points in his career. From the floor, has struggled in the start of this one, missing his first five, six attempts. But there goes two for two from the free throw line. And it is 11 to four now. Ava down seven on their home floor here. And you know you spend all this time getting ready for Seymour. That gets postponed towards the end of last week. And then you just start searching around the area. Who's got an open date on Tuesday, November 24th? It was Norwood. Same situation with Plato, who was unavailable. And that looks like a turnover, and it is. Tried to get a quick pass inside there to Sinning. And it'll give the ball back to the Bears. I believe that is Zach Black, a senior, who's checked in for Norwood. Norwood, they'll play seven or eight guys. And kind of a mystery right now what the rotation will look like for the Ava Bears. I see Quentin Donnelly and Bryce Dodson on the floor for their, their first game action. Pass inside to Mendel. Nice dish. Oh, and Dodson misses the gimme. But we've got a foul with Andrew Dalton getting the offensive rebound. And is it in the act of shooting? No, nope, they call the foul on the floor. But Bryce Dodson, another guy who's going to have to play a big role for the Bears off the bench here this year. Mason Cole comes in, back into the ballgame. Mendel lobs it in Quentin Donnelly that's his spot it's no good and even Quentin Donnelly missing the set of three pointers here in the first quarter and Ava only two points from the field two from the free throw line here in this first quarter four points all they got under a minute to play we'll see if Norwood plays for one shot I would assume that is the strategy as the clock ticks down here in the opening quarter of this year's basketball season. Drake being guarded. Now pass over, long D3 McGowan, no good. And the buzzer sounds, the putback no good. And we have played one. Ava Bears searching for their shot here in the early going. After one quarter of play, Norwood 11, Ava 4. Paul Wade and Associates. It's about accounting, bookkeeping, honesty, and experience. Paul Wade and Associates with decades worth of experience in accounting work, offices in Ava and in Gainesville for years. Paul Wade and Associates, our Gainesville number 679-2299, 679-2299, and of course in Ava, Paul Wade and Associates at 683-2319, at 683-2319. If you're looking for ways to save, we got discounts every day. We are here for you this Thanksgiving holiday. Time to cut the supermarket in Ava, Missouri. We're ready to smoke or bake your turkey for only $15. Bring your turkey from town and country with the turkey receipt and we'll bake it for you. $15 to be collected at pickup. Town and country, Ava, we Missouri. Got discounts every day. Well, the Ava Bears searching for offense there in the first quarter timeout. A lot of three point shots put up. None of them have fallen so far while Norwood. Really playing, sign a, you would almost call it ball control like offense, taking a lot of time on their possessions. And then it's either usually Duvall trying to create something off the dribble or finding an open three point shooter. They've knocked down three threes so far in the game. Inside to Mason Cole, turnaround shot, and there's a good high percentage shot there from Mason Cole. 
And that makes the score 11 to 6 now here. Norwood with the advantage. Jumped out to a 9 0 lead early on there in the first. Three point no good. Rebound by the Bears and Dalton. Andrew in transition. Only two points so far. Steps in and they call an offensive foul on him. Now let me tell you one of the big keys of this upcoming basketball season here. Blaine Mendel and Andrew Dalton, those guys have to avoid foul trouble at any and all costs. Because last year, Ava was blessed with a lot of depth. This year, young guys there on the bench. And there's a strong take up and in by Norwood's Gavin McGraw, who has checked in. Return three-pointer from Donley, no good. And Norwood, after making that answered shot, comes back down, and it's DeVault with it. DeVault being guarded by Donley, passes off the left side to Black. McGowan, top of the circle, drives right, kick, pulls it back out. Now he picks up his dribble, passes off left to Black. Mendel on him. Mendel and Dalton are two guys, and Dalton steps in the passing lane, has the steal. Two on two, pass up to Donley, and it's blocked. Or do they call a foul? It looks like a foul called. And it'll send Donley here to the free throw line. Have a 13 to six ball game here. In the second quarter, 6.35 on the clock. And Donley, uh, well, was about to shoot a free throw, and then the two officials want to come and talk about things. I guess making sure they gave the foul to the correct person. And Donley now. This is Ethan. Shoots and scores. Ethan Donley with three points here so far. And would you believe me if I told you here a couple minutes into the second quarter that Ethan Donley's three points lead all scores for the Ava Bears right now. Goes one of two. Mason Cole out jumps Norwood for an offensive rebound. Back to Donley and too strong off the iron. Ava had a good look there. Mason Cole providing an offensive rebound and a second chance opportunity, but no dice. Now McGowan drives in. Boy, a good pump fake. Got a defender in the air, but no shot available. Driving in now is Sinning. Sinning backing his man up. Boy, tough, strong move. And that was all muscle there, and that was McGraw, who off the bench, four points now for McGraw. And Norwood grows their lead. Quentin Donley, three-pointer. It's no good. He's 0 of 3 from the outside. Mason Cole, second chance shot, no good. Quentin Donley, give him another. And Quentin Donley, another opportunity there to three-pointer and knocks down his first of the season. Timeout, Norwood. Ava and Norwood battling here in the first half. You're listening to Cause Radio and also watching on TDHmedia.net. Brookline Door Works, a family-owned and operated business specializing in garage doors and openers, service, installation, and repair. Our goal is to take care of our customers by being on time and reliable. We include a two-year warranty so that you can feel comfortable that the job is done correctly. And we only charge local rates, no matter the distance traveled. Brookline Door Works. Give us a call today at 417-883-3667. And you can visit our website to check out the quality of our work at www.brooklinedoorworks.com. Saying goodbye to a loved one, you want it to be special, wrapped in care and provide comfort to those who remain. I'm Tony Clinking Bear Van Dyne, and at Clinking Bear Funeral Home, we've been helping those we know and love say goodbye with honor and dignity for over 100 years. We are here to serve you and your family. Well, 5.45 to go here in the second quarter, and Ava's cut the lead to five once again. And already here, granted a very early sample size, but you see why a lot of people, Colin Norwood, uh, the dark horse in the Summit Conference this year, they've got a bunch of juniors, DeVault, including leading that group, pulls up a shot from the mid-range, no good. 
But these juniors have started pretty much all three years at this point for Norwood, and you're seeing the growing pains start to bear fruit, and Blaine Mendel steps into a three. So Ava was 0 for 100 from three-pointers until Quentin Donnelly knocked one down. Blaine Mendel follows, and we got a two-point game. 15-13, nearing the midway point of the second quarter. Drake, pump fake, puts it on the floor, crossover move, now into the corner. Norwood will pull it back out with McGowan. They've shown a lot of patience offensively here in the first half. Duvall trying to create, and he is fouled by Peyton Evans. Now, Devault is one of those players where thinks he gets fouled, and I try not to be uh, too critiqueful of the young man, but one of those kids who thinks he gets fouled on just about every possession. Watch a Norwood game, you know I'm telling the truth. But he uses that to his advantage a lot, and you cannot deny the talent the young man has. Takes a lot to score 1,000 points. Mason Cole almost got a steal. It takes a lot to score 1,000 points before your junior season. Here's McGowan. Drives left off to DeVault. DeVault has Donnelly on him. DeVault drives right. Pulls it back out. Step back three. No good. Donnelly had it. Lost it. Norwood picks it up off the deck. McGowan, three-pointer no good. And Dalton finally pulls it down for the Bears. Push it up the field quickly. I'm still in some football terminology. Forgive me. Mason Cole now drives baseline. Cole up and in. And we are tied. Ava falling behind 9-0 early. And now we are at 15-15. How about this run here for the Ava Bears? Falling behind 9-0. Now we're tied up at 15 midway through the second quarter. Blaine Mendel, left wing up top. Right side, Drake, three-pointer, no good. So the threes that were falling for Norwood in the first quarter coming up short here. Quentin Donnelly puts it on the floor. Long pass, Ethan Donnelly. Ethan drives in, mid-range jumper, too strong, no good. Sticks with it, and I think we have a jump ball. And we do. Possession arrow favors Norwood, but... Those are things that don't show up in the stat box there. Ethan Donnelly, a little extra effort, ties up a jump ball. And we get another one here. Able to get a possession. Score is tied, 15-15. Here midway through quarter number two. Left wing side, McGraw. McGraw's coming off the bench, played nice minutes here for Coach Shane Chadwell. Norwood in the second quarter. Sending over to DeVault. DeVault back to McGraw. Sending right wing. Dalton guarding him. Ava in man-to-man -man defense. Sometimes bring a little trap pressure. Here driving baseline is Black. Goes up and under. No good. Dalton another rebound. He's going to be a double-double machine this year. Has been already in his first two years. Blade Mendel, acrobatic move, and Ava has their first lead of the game at the 249 mark of the second quarter. Timeout on the floor. Ava leads 17-15. Everybody's definition of health is not the same. I think patient care is having a mutual respect for that patient. I think it's listening. It's trying to be a advocate for what that patient needs and meet that patient where they're at. Find out where they wanna go and try to help them get there. My name is Mina Higgins, and I am serving the Gainesville and surrounding areas. Call for an appointment at 417-679-2775. Outstanding achievements of our young people. Van Kelly's been around kids, well, all his life. Managing, running, owning Camp Joy. And has seen most of the kids around cause country one way or the other. Van Kelly is pleased to be involved in sporting activity in cause country. Very proud of our young people, wishing them the best, not only in the competitive events of high school and beyond, but beyond into life itself. A salute from your friend, Van Kelly. Back to the action, Norwood now. First time trailing in this ball game here with just a little over two and a half minutes to play before halftime. Low scoring game. 
Kind of what you expect in a first game of the season type. Both teams going through cold stretches. That looks like an offensive foul, and it is Blaine Mendel. Set up, took the charge. Thankfully, good defensive position there because a defensive foul would have given him his second foul. And don't need to give you my speech again about how critical it is that Blaine Mendel and Andrew Dalton stay out of foul trouble in every game they possibly can. Ethan Donnelly, pass over right, Quentin Donnelly. Now Blaine Mendel, Ava, now their turn spacing the floor. Blaine drives, pulls it back out. Blaine was cut off. Ethan Donnelly has a step on his defender. They collapse the paint back outside. And Blaine goes to work on the dribbles, and the left-handed layup didn't fall, but Bryce Dodson keeps it alive, but steps out of bounds. Now Blaine Mendel there showing off those handles that he's becoming known for, and just couldn't finish with the left hand. Still Ava leading 17-15 here, and under two to play before halftime. This is Drake. Pass left and Mason Cole steps in the passing lane. Mason dribbles. He lays it up and in. Ava Huff 19-15 now. Mason Cole six points here in the second quarter. And got a minute and a half to play. DeVault drives in. Shot in and out. No good. Stays with it. DeVault turn around. Hook shot. Mason Cole says get out of here. Here come the Bears the other way. Quentin Donnelly, corner three, that would have been big. No good though, rebound Norwood. Minute 14 before halftime. We're getting in the basketball flow now. DeVault from deep, no good. Rebound Dalton. Blaine Mendel will slow it down now as he crosses the timeline. Gets a high ball screen from Dalton. And we got a foul called on Norwood. And I would expect to see more of that this year. A little high ball screen, pick and roll action with Mendel and Dalton. Could be a deadly weapon there in the offensive arsenal. And Dr. Hall feeding me with my notes here. That's a 17-6 run. Ava Bears are on right now after falling behind 9-0. Mendel, left wing, pump fake. Now over to Cole. Cole dribbles. Passes to Donnelly, to Donnelly, Mendel, swinging it around the perimeter now, now drives in, kick out, Donnelly, mid-range two, and it goes. Ethan Donnelly, not afraid to shoot that 18-footer, that mid-range shot's basically disappeared in the NBA. Uh, Donnelly here has knocked down a couple of them. Ethan has five points here in this first half. Has looked good here in his first varsity start. 21-15, where we're at on the scoreboard. The run continues. It's a 19-6 run. Oh, wide open is sitting, but he didn't finish, and Mason Cole gets the rebound. Dalton at the buzzer. No good, and we have got to halftime. And the Ava Bears, after falling behind, 9 to nothing. Close the first half on a 19-6 run, and they lead going into the locker room. 21-15 over Norwood. Lots of us have been staying at home a little more this year, and when you're at home more, you start looking around and seeing things that you can improve. DIY projects that you've been thinking about doing for a while. And where do you go for all your home improvement supplies? Ava Building Supply, Mansfield Home Centers. Whether it's simpler cosmetic updates and touch-ups or the supplies you need for major renovations. Stop in Monday through Saturday and get your project materials at Ava Building Supply Mansfield Home Centers where we stop to shop. The Ava R1 School District is not having school this week, but a reminder that the Ava Bear Booster Bear Wear Sale orders are due by December 3rd and orders will be delivered by December 20th. You can submit your orders by email to avabearbooster at gmail.com. Home Pride Bank, making for you since 1892. Helping the folks of cause country with real estate, agricultural, auto loans, and more. Offering a full line of consumer and business banking products and services. 
our customers are important to us, and the family tradition that began in 1892 can still be found today. Hours are Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, and on Saturdays from 8.30 to noon. Our history is rooted in commitment to both our customers and the communities we serve. And during these interesting times, you can count on Home Pride Bank, member FDIC, equalizing lender. Students striving to be the best in academics, sports, and performing. And when you look for a job after graduation, come to the place that's the best industrial plant around. Emerson Climate Technologies. Working with the best. We want you to come to work with us at Emerson Climate Technologies of Ava. Oh look, it's your boss Hank. All hard hat and steel toes. But you know he has a soft spot for McDonald's. You got his favorites. Go on, show him. Wait, did Hank just smile? He never smiles. A lunch break breakthrough. That's something to value. Get a cheeseburger and small fries for $2.20 or a McChicken and small fries for $2.20. Add any size soft drink for a dollar. Single item at regular price. Price of participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. This has been anything but a normal year. And at Signal Food Stores, we are so very thankful for our employees and our customers. We work hard to provide a safe environment for everyone. And we are still providing great quality gasoline, diesel, food, beverage, and more. Pick up a Papa John's pizza before or after the ball game, and don't forget to sign up for the Signal Rewards card and earn rewards for your purchases. Signal Food Stores, over 10 locations, your one-stop shop for when you're on the go. It's Jim's Body Shop, the name you know, the people you trust when it comes to auto body repair services or giving you a tow anytime, day or night. And who hasn't locked their keys in their car? I've used them to help me out there too. 683-4609, that's 683-4609 for Jim's Body Shop. We're there when you need us, and we're proud to support AVA Athletics. I'm here at the AVA Gymnasium, and our score right now, it is AVA 21 and Norwood 15. Norwood scoring the first nine points of the game. AVA would then answer on a 21-6 run and Ava did not get a lead in this ball game until 249 left in the second quarter and right now the story kind of it is the roll guys for the Ava Bears really contributing here in this first half is Blaine Mendel only one field goal Andrew Dalton only one field goal those two only combining for seven points of the Ava Bears 21 so far Mason Cole Ethan Donnelly big contributes contributions right now. Mason Cole with six, Ethan Donnelly with five, Blaine Mendel two, Andrew Dalton five, and Quentin Donnelly a three-pointer. For Norwood, it is Jalen Drake with six, and Max McGowan zero. Garrett DeVault has five, and McGraw has four. Halftime our score, Ava 21, Norwood 15. You need a little help around your place? Well, then you get a hold of Schmock Ventures at 683-D-U-M-P. That's 683-DUMP, or 3867, where we deliver rock, dirt, and more. That's Tussie or T.J. Schmock at 683-3867, 683-DUMP, for Schmock Ventures, where we deliver rock, dirt, and more. Whether it's personal injury, car accidents, criminal defense, and no matter if the case is large or small, Christopher J. Swadish, attorney at law, would be honored to represent you. You can visit with the AVA office, 200 East Washington, or you can call 683-2987, or even visit the website, www.swadish.com. And from all of us at the law offices of Christopher J. Swadish, we want to wish good luck to the Ava Bears. The sun always rises, your dog will always love you, and the tax man always shows up. 
certain things in life are always reliable. So when you're ready to talk about life insurance, contact your dependable State Farm agent. After all, you might already count on State Farm to insure your car, and your life insurance is one of the things that matters most. Plus, there might be even more ways to save on your car insurance. Call David Cody in Ava 683-4141 or in Mansfield 924-3231. At MS Propane, our mission is to be your propane supplier for life. Locally owned and operated, MS Propane is a hometown company you can trust for safe, reliable, clean, and affordable propane services. Whether you're heating your home or business in the winter or grilling outside in the summer, you can count on us to help reduce your energy costs, increase your comfort, and power your home or business safely with propane. Give MS Propane a try today. 683-5300. That's 683-5300 for MS Propane. Miller Lawn Service can take care of your commercial and residential lawn care needs from mowing the grass to trimming the hedge and more. Our fast, reliable, and experienced team can help your lawn look its best. And now we're licensed for agriculture pesticide application. Call Doug today at 543-2294 or call from the 337-1766. 543 or 337-1766. For Miller Lawn Service, and let us take care of your lawn. We are at halftime, and our score, Ava 21, Norwood 15. Norwood pretty much dominating the first quarter. Ava dominating the second quarter. and has very much of a first game of the year type feels. Uh, we're really experimenting here on the radio tonight, and uh, we're just taking extra precautions and everything. Wanted to see how this would work here in the TDH Media Truck. And, uh, you know, so far... Well, we're getting through it. Not too bad. Tyson gives the thumbs up and fist pumps. Next week, Ava returns to the annual Forsyth Tournament. It has been many, many years since we played in the Forsyth Tournament. No longer will Ava be playing in the Mansfield Invitational, and I know that's kind of a bummer for some, but quite frankly, we see every, every team in that tournament anyway and get a chance to have some new competition in Forsyth. The action gets started next Monday. Ava, as the number one seed, will take on Blue Eye, the seventh seed. That is a 7.30 ball game on Monday. In the Ava bracket also is Hollister, a four seed, taking on Reed Springs, a five seed. Then in three-team pool play, you have Stratford, a two seed, taking on Carl Junction. Forsyth, the three seed, also in there as well. They'll play a round robin there. And... Uh, Action will conclude on Saturday, December 5th, with 7th, 5th, 3rd, and 1st place game. Of course, we hope we're playing in that 1st place game. Ava beats Blue Eye on Monday. You'll play Friday at 6 o'clock. If they were to lose, they would play Thursday at 6 o'clock. And then again, 1st place game would be Saturday at 7 p.m. 3rd quarter. Coming up next, here on the best radio in the Ozarks, Cause Radio, and also TDHmedia.net. Hi, J.D. Chadwell here from Town & Country Bank. We've got all the perks of a national bank, like online banking, quick loan approval, and you can even deposit your check from your phone. But that's not why our customers love us. They love us because we still offer hometown customer service. Stop by one of our area locations and let our friendly team remind you how special hometown banking can be. Smart, friendly solutions. Town & Country Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS number 1736546. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we are for road trips. We're for covering as much ground as possible on two, four, or 18 wheels. We're for drop tops, T tops, classics, cruisers, pickup trucks, and dump trucks. We're for displaying Missouri plates like medals of pride. Have you ever hit a deer? Yep, we're for you too. We're for getting stuck behind a tractor on a two-lane highway. And if you're a Missouri driver, we have an auto policy for you. I am Sean Irby, your Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent. And if you're in Douglas County, I've got you covered. Well, some more raindrops begin to fall outside. Can give you that perspective here. And uh, we're beginning now third quarter play. Ava Bears with the basketball inbounding. 
Blaine Mendel, the trigger man. Him and Dalton have not come off the floor yet. Peyton Evans, corner three, no good. Rebound to Vault and Norwood. Quick pass up ahead to Chadwell and dribbled it off his foot. Out of bounds. And the turnover goes back to the Bears. 7.41 to go. Just getting underway in the third quarter. 21-15. Norwood scored the first nine. Then Ava would go on a 21-6 run to close out the first half. Duvall steps in the passing lane, gets the steal. Here he goes, up the right side, up and under. And Duvall, you don't want that guy to get cooking. He's got seven points now. And 21-17 our score. Ethan Donnelly to answer off the front rim. No good. Sticking with it is Dalton. And Dalton, all of his points here in this game, basically coming from the paint. Did knock down one outside shot there in the second quarter. And a couple of free throws, and that's it so far for Andrew. To the free throw line he goes and makes it. Uh, he's working his tail off on the offensive glass. And one can only wonder what right now interim assistant coach Aaron Dalton said to Andrew at halftime. Wouldn't you love to be a fly on the wall for that conversation? And Andrew steps up and makes them both. He's 4 of 4 from the foul line. And the lead goes back to 6. 23-17 where we're at. Crossing the timeline is Norwood. This is McGraw. McGraw dribbles left, now in the corner is Sinning. Dalton guarding him. Pass back up top, now swing it to the right side here at the wing. Mendel pokes the ball away from Norwood, but they get it back. This is McGowan with it. How about a five-second call? And gets enough space where the count broke. Now to Drake at the Ava Bear. Near center court, pass left wing, up and under, no good. And they're going to get a foul on either Dalton or Cole. And looked like very good defensive positioning from both Dalton and Cole. But free throws coming here for Justin Chadwell, a junior. No points so far on the night, but he'll make the first free throw. 23-18 now. We are at 6.28 to go. Here in quarter number three. And got them both. 23-19. Donnelly has a little pressure now being applied by the Norwood backcourt. Mendel keeps crossing over and spinning. And the shot acrobatically goes in, but they wave it off for an offensive foul. And Blaine Mendel, I think that's the second time in this game. Down the back of you. Has been guilty of an offensive foul and Norwood. Look like we got a scrape on the arm of McGowan. He will come out. Can you show me that on Norwood's bench? And looks like he's got the towel and had to take care of something. Back to two. 23-19 our score. Yeah, it's on the other way up. And if you're just getting tuned in here, been very back and forth. Norwood owned the first quarter. Three three-pointers got him out to a 9-0 lead. And then Ava would dominate the second. Did not get the lead, did the Ava Bears, till 249 in the second quarter. Ava will apply a little full court pressure here. Then bounds to Drake. Quentin Donnelly guarding him. And Donnelly trying to stay in front of him. Now does. Gets Norwood to back up and set up offense here in the half court set. DeVault relatively quiet. The two junior stars here. Both in single digits so far. Sinning lobs it down to Chadwell. And Chadwell... Four points in the quarter, and it's a two-point ball game, 23-21. Dalton, no hesitation. Ryzen fires for three. No good off the back iron, but an offensive rebound. Cole to Quentin Donnelly. It's no good. Mason Cole, he's going to be a rebounding machine. Good find to Peyton Evans. Miss it from the left side, 
And we've got a foul called on who? I think Dalton. Oh, timeout on the field, on the floor. 5.35 to go here in the third quarter. Ava 23, Norwood 21. At Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance, it's never too early to start thinking about Christmas season. We've got the perfect love seat and recliner combinations for your living room. Furniture for the bedrooms. And you know you're going to get a big buck this season. How about a deep freeze to store the meat in? We've got a couple of deep freezes in stock right now. You know how hard those are to find. Better come get them while they're here. Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance in Ava. Edgelearn Harper Farm Equipment and Kubota have a great package deal for you. Get a Kubota MX 5400 DT package, including a 6-foot rotary cutter, 6-foot box blade, dual hay spike, and Kubota loader for $33,995. With zero down, zero APR for 60 months, now through 1031. See us or go to KubotaUSA.com for more information. Hi, this is John Edgler. Remember, we are two names you can trust, Edgler and Harper and Kubota, West Plains and Mountain Grove. Take three. Ava Bear basketball on 92.1 FM, 1430 on the AM, KKOZ.com, and you can watch it on TDHmedia.net. You literally have to see the setup Tyson has sometimes, folks. It is pretty sophisticated stuff, and it is ESPN-like quality, the things he does there imaging-wise on TDHmedia.net. If you haven't watched a ball game on there yet, you need to do it and check it out. Peyton Evans passing the right corner. Ethan Donnelly now down low to Dalton, and, boy, he can draw a crowd in a hurry when he gets it down that low on the block. And it is out of bounds. And what do we got? Ava Ball. Ethan Donnelly to throw it in. 5.30 to go in the third quarter. Evans up top. Quentin Donnelly right wing. A lot of point blank misses in this one. Kind of some of the things you see in a first game of the year. Low scoring. 23-21. Where we're at now. Cole splits a double team. Rises up and in. From the left side, your leading scorer for the Ava Bears tonight, Mason Cole with eight points. Ava up by four, under five to play here in the third. Right wing Norwood, high ball screen. Mason Cole does a good job coming out and cutting off penetration from DeVault. Kind of just throws one up as he's going to the ground and gets a foul called. Okay, go with Norwood's 20. And DeVault will go to the free throw line. And based on him and Dalton's scoring standards, pretty low in this game. DeVault was seven, Dalton was seven. And the first free throw up and in. Blaine Mendel, a quick, quick breather. And he's back out on the floor. Take two. Next free throw, no good, and Mason Cole, another rebound. I'm guessing he's in double figures on that already. Down low to Dalton on the block. He avoids the double team up and in, and that's the Andrew Dalton. And he lost his shoe while doing it. One shoe on the foot, and he has his best move of the night. Coach Seeger says... Maybe we'll just play one shoe the rest of the way. I'm sure he didn't say that. Full court pressure now being applied by the Ava Bears. DeVault pushes it up the left side. A little bit out of control with that left hand. Gets it back. Now goes all the way right. And it's one on five right now. But DeVault gets bailed out with a foul called. He drove all the way into the left corner. Then went all the way back to half court. Then went down the middle. Looked over to the right side. Oh, man. And what do we got going on here? Oh, Quentin Donnelly is bleeding on the floor, and it is a decent-sized cut. And I'm not sure what happened with Q there. But Quentin's going to have to go to the locker room and get checked out on that. That did not look good. Or that was just the blood running. And I hope he's all right. Ethan Donnelly with the steal up to Mason Cole. And Mason Cole counts the basket. And 
won it, and Mason Cole continuing his strong senior seasons in the sporting world. Had a great football season and right now has double figures and timeout Norwood. 427 in the third. Ava, their largest lead of the night, 29-22. Hey guys, this is Trish Watterson with Show Me Real Estate. And if you are thinking of selling your place, now is a good time as any. We pride ourselves on how we market our property, whether it's a farm, land, residential, in town, or commercial building. We use a variety of tools to bring awareness to potential buyers of the property that you want to sell. Visit either Show Me Real Estate location Monday through Friday or on Saturday mornings and someone will be there to assist you. That's Show Me Real Estate, serving the entire Southwest Missouri area. All right, stand by two, take two. Hey, Ava Bear basketball, <laughs> opening night. It was supposed to be Bears and Tigers. We went Bears and Pirates. Pirates, a theme on sports this week, Cause Radio. We'll have the Chiefs and Buccaneers and try to beat Tom Brady's 58-year-old self on Sunday. Mason called the free throw line to complete the three-point play. No good. And rebound Norwood. Bears up by seven. Glad you're here joining us tonight. Coach Swaff and family watching and listening and wherever you are out there. Happy Thanksgiving, first of all, from us at Cause Radio and TDH Media. And uh, hopefully going into the Forsyth Tournament next week with a record of 1-0. and Davis had to work for it here with Norwood. A lot of good juniors who have started for three years for Coach Shane Chadwell. And you see why a lot of people in the summit Thinking Norwood's going to have a lot to say about how that conference plays out this year. Norwood on offense right now. Hesitation move up and in from the right side. And Chadwell had no points at halftime. Has six here. Ethan Donnelly to Mason Cole. Left side, Andrew Dalton. Andrew drives in, pulls up from a few feet and knocks it in. Andrew Dalton, six points in the quarter. 11 for the game. He's starting to heat up, folks. Sinning, drives in, turnaround shot, up and in, no call. Dalton went down, hoping for an offensive foul call, didn't get it. Now Andrew drives, he spins, up and in. Andrew Dalton starting to cook here in the third quarter, and DeVault answers for Norwood. So we had no offense, hardly in the first half. And in the third quarter, teams are warming up here. Blaine Mendel, Corey Heinlein in the game of three. No good. Norwood the rebound. It's Ava 33, Norwood 28. Got 242 left here in quarter number three. Make sure you stay with us for our Rosanna Proctor Farmers Insurance agent post-game show. DeVault drives. Got to be an offensive foul, and it is Andrew Dalton. Stood in there tall, got ran over, and send it the other way. Ava with the ball now, leading by five. Four team fouls now against Norwood, and they'll come with a little three-court pressure. Mendel. And Ethan Donnelly doing a two-man game here, getting it up the floor. Now Mendel attacks. No looks at down low. Mason Cole, have yourself a coming out party here on the hardwood. Mason Cole with 12. He's been rebounding. He's been blocking shots and finishing in the paint. DeVault passes out. Drake quickly moving to Chadwell. Drives baseline. Now back out. Along the volleyball line, McGraw had a big second quarter and swishes home a three there. Lead had got to seven, now back down to four as McGraw has seven points off the bench for Norwood. Hind line to Dalton, top of the circle. Andrew drives right, double team comes, finds Ethan Donnelly. Donnelly, 10-footer, no good. Fights for the loose ball, it goes to Andrew, up and in. Andrew Dalton, 10 points here in the third quarter, and we got a foul about 50 feet from the basket. 
number two. Foul is going to be on Ethan Donnelly. 37-31, Ava Bears, 127 left, and Ava only had 21 points total by halftime. They got 16 going here in the second, and it is the Dalton and Cole show. Andrew again, 10 points here in the third, 15 for the game now. Getting going inside, taking it in, strong. And him and Cole dominating the boards. And got a ticky-tacky foul on Corey Heinlein. Coming back to two. If there's a foul on the court to be found, Garrett DeVault will find it. And we're getting close to a one-and-one one situation. Coming to three. three. Coming to two. DeVault will inbound it into the backcourt to Drake. Drake crosses the timeline to DeVault. Back to Drake. Thought about the three. Passes left to McGraw. One minute to go here in the third quarter. Dalton almost got a steal. Drake looks to attack off to DeVault. DeVault thought about a deep three, and he drives in and out of traffic. Had three different Ava Bears, I think, at one point guarding him on that handle. Back to DeVault. Deep Steph Curry range, and he knocks it down. Garrett DeVault shot that one from Norwood, and it went in. He's getting going in the third quarter. And a foul on sitting against Dalton. DeVault only had five points at halftime. He's got eight here in the third quarter. So the two stars of this game, if you will, pretty quiet in the first half, each of them with just five points. But they have come alive here in the third. It's a three-point game, 37-34. Ava with the lead. 25 seconds to go before the third quarter buzzer. Ava looking like they'll try to play for one. Like to see some good end of quarter execution here. It's in Dalton's hands now with 11 seconds to go. And now it looks like Dalton wants some isolation to go to work. Pulls up from the free throw line. Shooters touch and roll. Dalton gets it to go. Two seconds left. Devault from half court. Almost in. Just off the front of the rim. But now, folks, the stars are out. Devall, Dalton. Going at it, Ava Norwood at the end of three. Bears 39, Pirates 34. Hi folks, this is Jay Loveland of Jay Loveland Auto Sales. I'd like to invite you all to our new setup in Mountain Grove. We have a great inventory of affordable cars, trucks, and SUVs conveniently located right next to Walmart and Burger King. Find us also online at jlovelandautosales.com or 417-349-4444. And remember, at J. Loveland Auto Sales, we always do the right thing. Century Bank of the Ozarks, with locations in Ava, Gainesville, Theodosia, and Bakersfield, is your hometown community bank. We offer a full line of personal checking and saving account options, as well as corporate and business banking solutions. Our experienced lenders specialize in residential, consumer, commercial, and agricultural lending. Since 1894, Century Bank of the Ozarks has maintained its reputation of friendly service and quick local decision making. Stop in and let our friendly staff introduce you to our banking products. Century Bank of the Ozarks, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Well, ladies and gentlemen, things getting serious now. Business is picking up here in the third quarter in the second half of this ball game. Both teams I guess just trying to feel each other out like a boxing match, going 12 rounds. A lot of selective possessions. Norwood scores the first nine of the game. Then Ava, over the course of the first and second quarter, would go on a 21-6 run. They would lead at halftime. And now Ava scored 21 in the first half, 18 points there in the third. And it is a five-point game. Norwood there in the quarter, scoring 19. They actually won the third quarter there by a point. Five-point game, Norwood ball. This is DeVault with it. Over to the left side, McGowan. Left corner now, Black, a three, in and out, no good. 
Cole tipped it, tried to get it to a teammate. McGowan a three, missed everything. Mason Cole got it and was bumped by DeVault, out of bounds. Mason Cole is having an outstanding basketball game here. And what is his first varsity start? Played his sophomore year, got some minutes. It's like your seventh or eighth guy off the bench. Didn't play his junior season. But boy, is he having an impact here in the first three plus quarters of his senior season. 12 rebounds and probably that many rebounds to go with it. Blaine Mendel, now this is kind of the shocker, only two points scored at this point. Takes it into a crowd, nothing, got his own miss, and then is called for traveling. And then almost looked like he was cramping there for a little bit. And Blaine Mendel just having a tough night offensively. Got several good looks in the first quarter, just couldn't get one to fall from either side of the glass. Norwood with it, one minute gone here in the fourth quarter. Drake, left side to McGowan. Back up top for Drake. Ava in man-to-man -man defense here. You see Donley kind of cheating a little bit towards the baseline, the basket, for some help defense if need be from a driving Duvall. Here's McGraw. McGraw puts it on the deck. Now in the left corner to Chadwell. Pick and roll, good job by Andrew Dalton jumping out on that screen. Drake, back to McGraw. Norwood, another lengthy possession here. Taking care of the ball, waiting for a good opportunity. Drake, pump fake, drives in. Out to McGraw, little dribble weave action. McGraw, turnaround shot off the front, no good. Dalton the rebound. Dalton, quick pass to Ethan Donnelly. Ethan gets his man in the air and scores. And they call a foul in the act of shooting. And how about that? We pick up an extra point possibly there on the and one variety. And that's a call benefits the Bears right there. Honestly thought it was kind of a play on, but certainly not going to argue. And Ethan Donnelly. That's seven points now for him tonight. He has been impressive as well and swishes that one. Ava up by eight, 42-34. Six minutes to go in the basketball game, night one. And after falling behind nine to nothing, to find a way to win here, first game of the year, any means necessary, you'll take it. Chadwell, little step back move, now off to Sinning. He's been relatively quiet tonight offensively. McGowan loses the handle on it. Boy, just a desperation heave there. Got it to a teammate. And then Mason Cole, perhaps the football switch turned on there because he went up to challenge that shot with authority and must have got a piece of the arm there of Chadwell. And Chadwell had no points in the first half, six in the third quarter. And in and out on the free throw. Both teams really getting in their offensive groove there in the third quarter. It was 19-18. More points scored in the third quarter than the first half entirely. And second free throw good. It's 42-35. to 5.38 exactly on the clock here in the fourth quarter. It's Thanksgiving week. Bears trying to be thankful for the first win of the season here on opening night. Pass over to the right side, and we got Quentin Donnelly back in the game who's changed jersey numbers because of the blood earlier. And Blaine Mendel, there he steps, knifes in the lane, up and in, and Mendel. That's a big basket there for him. Get his mind back on the right track. And he'll go to the free throw line to try to make it a 10-point Ava advantage, which would be the largest of the night. Blaine's free throw up, and the bank, you know what? It's still open. Why not? They'll be closed Thanksgiving. You got to keep them open late on Tuesday. Off the glass from the free throw, and it's a 10-point game. 
McGraw, three-pointer to answer, no good, sinning, offensive putback. And that gets it back to eight. Timeout, Shane Chadwell of Norwood. 5.06 left in the game, your Ava Bears up by eight. Lots of us have been staying at home a little more this year. And when you're at home more, you start looking around and seeing things that you can improve. DIY projects that you've been thinking about doing for a while. And where do you go for all your home improvement supplies? Ava Building Supply Mansfield Home Centers. Whether it's simpler cosmetic updates and touch-ups, or the supplies you need for major renovations. Stop in Monday through Saturday and get your project materials at Ava Building Supply Mansfield Home Centers, where we stop to shop. Saying goodbye to a loved one. You want it to be special, wrapped in care, and provide comfort to those who remain. I'm Tony Clinking Bear Van Dyne, and at Clinking Bear Funeral Home, We've been helping those we know and love say goodbye with honor and dignity for over 100 years. We are here to serve you and your family. At Rick's Roofing, we have expanded our business. We are now dozing for timber and other excavating work, skid steer work, some brush hogging, brush mulching, also helping you build your driveway building houses or shop pads, backhoe work, septic work, and dump truck gravel hauling, free quotes. And of course, we're still taking care of your roofing needs too. 683-8081. That's 683-8081 for Rick's Roofing, LLC. Fourth quarter, five minutes to go. Starting to get closer to crunch time. Blaine Mendel dumps it down to Dalton. Nice dish. Blaine setting up Dalton. Andrew with 19 now in the game. DeVault back up top for Drake. Bears lead back to 10. Under five to play. DeVault to Drake. Drake knocked down a three in the first quarter and I'm not sure if he's shot it since. DeVault, he'll shoot it from anywhere. Step back, now back in, back out, in the corner. Chadwell drives, puts it up with the right hand and gets the bounce to go, Chadwell now, he's got nine points in the contest, and what did I miss? Did the basket not go in? I thought it looked like it went up in the air and dropped. It didn't go in. It only appeared to, DeVault, deep three, no good, sending offensive rebound, won a jump contest with Mason Cole there, Ball's knocked around, another offensive rebound, but Dalton says, I don't want it in here. Knocks it away, fast break up ahead, and Cole is fouled by DeVault. The block from Andrew Dalton setting up the fast break there for the Ava Bears. Ava will inbound under their own goal, 47-37. Peyton Evans, shot from 10 feet, no good. Mason Cole, another rebound. Cole shot, no good. And Norwood, sinning, just tried to knock it out of the paint right there. And bringing it up the other end, sinning, drives inside, layup, up and in. Jacob sinning with four points. Here in the fourth quarter, it's an eight-point ball game. 3.38 to go. Ava, 47-39. Mendel drives in. Jump stop. Gets it knocked away. And then they call a foul on Norwood. And that was going to be kind of close. Didn't know if it would be a foul or a jump ball. Stand by three. Take three. And in the bonus now are the Bears, and Blaine Mendel will go to the free throw line. Put a free throw in off the glass his last time up. Glad you're with us here for opening night. Nothing says 2020 like calling a ball game outside of the building where the game is taking place, watching it on the TDH media monitors. And the one and one free throw, no good there. Mason Cole had another crack at it, but could not fall. And so our free throw shooting could use some improvement. Haven't shot a lot of them, but not a very good percentage. DeVault, deep three, no good. Loose ball, and we got bodies on the floor, and it's going to be a jump ball. And Andrew was thinking fast break there. 
Tried to kind of pick up and run before he had secured it. And we got a jump ball possession arrow. Staves with the Ava Bears. 47-39. If you're just getting tuned in, very, very sluggish start offensively in the game. Norwood, three three-pointers and led nine to nothing within the first couple of minutes. Ava, though, would start grinding it out, playing really good defense along the perimeter, stopping that three-point shooting. Ava would go on a 21-6 run to end the first half, and Blaine Mendel a little bit out of control and gets the benefit of a jump ball called. But now Coach Seeger, I believe, so upset the mask came off there for a second. And Coach Seeger wanting an explanation of why there wasn't a foul call behind on Mendel. Timeout, Ava. Three minutes, two seconds left in the ball game. Ava Bears 47, Norwood 39. Paul Wade and Associates. It's about accounting, bookkeeping, honesty, and experience. Paul Wade and Associates with decades worth of experience in accounting work. Offices in Ava and in Gainesville for years. Paul Wade & Associates, our Gainesville number, 679-2299. 679-2299, and of course, in Ava, Paul Wade & Associates at 683-2319. At 683-2319. Missouri Ozarks Community Health is excited to announce that we are now offering virtual visits. A virtual visit allows you to receive care from a medical provider from the comfort of your home. If you're an established patient of Mock and have received care in the past 12 months, you may qualify for a virtual visit. At this time, patients can receive medication refills and treatment for acute sickness via a virtual visit. Family nurse practitioner Natalie Jeffrey will be providing care for the virtual visits. At this time, she is able to accept Medicare, Medicaid, managed Medicaid plans, TRICARE, Anthem, and United Healthcare. Please call us today for more information or to schedule a virtual visit at 683-5739. That's 683-5739, and we are excited to serve your health care needs at Missouri Ozarks Community Health. Glad you're with us here on 921 FM, 1430 AM, KKOZ.com, or even watching on TDHmedia.net. We're officially in crunch time. Three minutes to go. Ava 47, Norwood 39. Norwood basketball. This is Drake up the left side. Quentin Donnelly back in the game. Stitched him up real quick. And he's going to have a good shiner on him. He'll have some Thanksgiving Day pictures to remember, I imagine, Thursday with the family photos uh, because that thing is going to swell. It's already changed colors. Had to come out of the game earlier. Had blood coming all down his side of his face. But he's back in playing defense right now. Shows you his toughness. Mason Cole, you know he's tough after watching this last football season. Dives on the ground and knocks it out of bounds. Take two. 225 in the game. So Norwood getting to the point of the game where they can't be as patient and selective offensively. Going to have to force the issue a little bit. Sending a shot, no good. Blaine Mendel had position. It goes in the corner to Peyton Evans. Nice outlet pass up ahead to Cole. Finds Dalton, lays it up and in. Bears back up by 10. Dalton with 21. DeVault tries to answer, out of control, up and in though. Garrett DeVault can get shots off from extremely weird angles. He's the Patrick Mahomes of shot attempting. Can get it off, completely off balance, and when you can't think, it'll go in, it does. 49-41. Evans with it at the right wing. Now to Blaine Mendel. 90 seconds left in the game. Time is on our side. We force a pass into a triple team to Dalton, and it's a turnover. DeVault racing the other way. Now we had Mendel set up for the foul, but it's going to be a push from behind on Peyton Evans, and it's going to send DeVault to the free throw line. Now the foul 
not committed in the act of shooting, but Norwood is in the one and one bonus, so Devault, if he makes the first, will get another. A little bit of an unforced air there by the Bears, and Devault will make the free throw. Coming back to two. Devault 11 points here in the second half. Ethan Donnelly comes in. And the Garrett Devault, Andrew Dalton show. Took the first half for him to get warmed up, but both those two kids. Talking about a SCA player of the year and a last year Summit Conference favorite to watch. Doing battle. Two guys who, at the completion of their sophomore years, both getting over 1,000 points for their careers. Second free throw, no good. Loose ball. It's going to stay with Norwood. So it's a seven-point game. 119 left. Norwood could get it to five or even four here. DeVault. Inbounding, throws it down low to Chadwell. Mason Cole, good defense, but Chadwell gets it to fall. Big second half for Justin Chadwell of Norwood, the junior. Junior's everywhere on the floor for Norwood, and Blaine Mendel looks like got fouled. And we got to do our job at the free throw line now. Anybody two? Take two. Longest moment or a minute in sports coming up. And yep, one minute and seven seconds left at a five point game. This last minute and seven could uh, last a long while. May turn into a free throw shooting contest, and Mendel misses the free throw. And there was two shots, as that was the tenth foul on Norwood, so it's double bonus. But Blaine. Back to two. And I love the kid, but he has uh, struggled from the free throw line in this game. That one, he gets it to rattle home. Six point ball game, 50 to 44. But if you see Norwood in the first quarter, you know they can make that three and make it in a hurry. DeVault goes right side, drives in, up and under, no good, but a foul called on the Bears. And DeVault will go back to the free throw line. Coming to two, take two. So Garrett DeVault pretty much had the basketball in his hands, it seems like. Him or Chadwell won the majority of this fourth quarter. Take two. Uh, it's still one and one shooting here for Norwood. DeVault and Dalton both just five points. At halftime, Dalton's over 20, and DeVault closing in on that and makes the first free throw. DeVault has 17 now in the ball game. 53 seconds left. Five-point ball game. Free throw number two is in. It's a four-point ball game. Subs coming in. They do a little offense for defense, or defense for offense, excuse me. They want to get DeVault out because they don't want him to foul anymore. Mendel trying to find someone open. They get it to Dalton. Dalton picks up his dribble in a bad spot. Ava does have a timeout to use. They get it up to Dalton, and we got a touch foul called about 80 feet from the basket. And honestly, that was starting to close in on that 8, 10 second backcourt call. Uh, be now Blaine's going to the free throw line here and should be starting to find some kind of rhythm. He's shot in four free throws in the quarter. Free throw up and it's in and out. And Blaine honestly just does not look very comfortable there at the free throw line and offensively Blaine having a rough night. 50 to 46. Ava not doing their job at the free throw line. And missed them both. Oh my goodness. That's five missed free throws for Mendel in the fourth quarter. Four point game. 41 seconds left. Norwood ball. Devault pass over to McGowan. McGowan will drive in. He'll go create contact on Cole and knocks it down. 
It's a two-point game now. 31 seconds left. Don't go anywhere. A mad finish looks like on the horizon. Ava 50, Norwood 48. Hey, Bears fans. This is Travis Smith, and I want to say how proud I am to be supporting the Ava Bears football team from the trip last year to the championship game and this summer's long, hot summer practices. I'm looking forward to seeing what this season will bring. Hard work pays off. I can attest to that from coaching football for over 10 years. And I want to say good luck to the Ava Bears football program from Travis Smith. Thank you. If you're looking for ways to save, we got discounts every day. Get your best choice. Turkey Thanksgiving turkey for free at Town & Country Supermarket in Avon, Missouri. When you spend $100 or more, then you get the turkey for free, up to 12 pounds, and larger turkeys for a little bit more. Town & Country, Ava, Missouri, with five pounds. California Cutie Clementines, $5.99, and Golden Ripe Dole Whole Pineapples, $2.38, town and country, Ava, Missouri. We got discounts every day. Well, was hoping we were going to have a little more breathing room than this. Now, of course, our friends at Norwood, glad to have you on here tonight. You guys know we've done a lot of broadcast Norwood basketball over the years. Uh, you just got to forgive us there for the Ava Bear bias coming out. But uh, because of the lack of free throw execution, we're getting the fingernail biting time. And there's a quick foul. Only two seconds go off the clock. And of course, if you're Coach Shane Chadwell, you're seeing what Ava's doing at the free throw line. Why wouldn't you foul immediately, extend this ball game out, and make Ava execute at the free throw line. Now, Ethan Donnelly in there for two shots. First one up, and it's off the front of the rim. And it's getting painful now. Coming back to two, yeah, we got to this If you remember at the beginning of the year last year, this was kind of an issue as well. End of the game, free throw shooting. And the Bears got it corrected the deeper they went in. Ethan Donnelly makes the second. Thank you. Here comes Norwood. 26 seconds and the ball. DeVault asking for a screen. He gets one from Sinning. You know he wants to pull up for three. There he does it. Right wing in and out. Loose ball. And it's last touch by Norwood. Out of bounds. The Ava defense holds. DeVault got the screen, he got a decent look at it, and it almost fell. 51-48, Ava lead, 15 and a half seconds on the clock. Mendel gets it to Dalton. Here comes the trap and a quick foul. And Andrew Dalton. Last year we called him the sophomore sensation. I think he's graduated a junior stud. And he's got 21 in the game. One of the top players to watch in the area. He was all state last year. Just an incredible run last year. That Ava Bear basketball team. And the first free throw up and in. Pretty much the last normal weekend in the country in 2020 was the last Ava Bear basketball game played. They're back in the first weekend of March. Dalton had 28 in the state quarterfinal effort. Tonight, 22, make it 23. Dalton, you ask, he delivers from the free throw line. DeVault tries to get contact for three, no good. Five seconds left. Sinning forces up a three, no good. Mason Cole, the rebound, and the Ava Bears will earn a hard-fought victory here in the first game of the season. Final score, 53-48, and our Rosanna Proctor Farmers Insurance Post Game Coaches Show up next here on the best radio in the Ozarks. <laughs> 